know, if I bleed what Brother Jed bleeds, he said, I would be doing what Brother Jed does. He said, if I really bleed, then anyone who wasn't a Christian is going to hell. He said, I would not rest day and night warning the world about it. Uh, I think that he's um, preaching something that he, I mean, yeah, it's something that he knows, but it's not what's true. Um, insta yeah. Instead of preaching about God's love, um, he's preaching about God's wrath and how he hates people, which is not um, true. So, yeah, I've been out here for about maybe 30 minutes. Um, some of my friends texted me and told me he was out here. And, uh, I saw him last year. And, you know, just kind of prayed against it and stuff like that. You think there'll be sex in hell? You're damn right there will be, because I'll be there. And so will you. Well, here will be the problem, if there is sex in hell. Hell is described as fire and brimstone. Let's talk about your outfit Anybody know what start talking about hell and brimstone, all right? Anybody know what brimstone is? Yeah. What? Yes, it smells just like Yeah, it's sulfur, burning sulfur. It uh, smells like rotten hay. Don't you lie. smell like don't rotten lie. eggs in hell. Your, your boyfriend, so-called, will there? smell like rotten eggs. You will want to get close to one another. Man. And you'll hot, not just genital warts, you'll have warts all over your face. Is that what happened? Like the wicked witch of the West. Is that what you And no one will want to get close to you. That's, that's what you gave to those kids, isn't it? Well, at first saw him last year um, when he was with his wife. I didn't even know it was the same guy today, but uh, I saw him here with his wife about a year ago, and I didn't actually stop and listen. I just kind of casually passed by and heard him uh, criticizing gay people and all of that. And, uh, I wasn't that strongly, you know, into religious issues at that time, so I just walked past. Uh, but now, you know, I was actually on my way home, finished a test, and I saw this, and I said, hey, I love a good religious debate. So I came around to watch him. Um, your other question, what do I think of him? Uh, well, it's free speech. I mean, I'm not, I'm not against what he's doing, standing out there. That's, that's the First Amendment. That's all right as an American. But um, I don't agree with his message at all. And I think he's preaching hatred, and he's turning people off of his religion. Well, I want to get people thinking. And I'm convinced if a person is really thinking clearly and soundly and rationally, his thoughts will inevitably lead them to God. Now, I'm also appealing to their conscience by addressing the moral issues. And if they'll start listening to their conscience, their conscience will tell them they're guilty and that they're in the need of a Savior.